Welcome back. This is Will at Work. I'm Kevin. Today we're looking at the Clone Wars. Uh, it's a, um, I believe it's a Jack Pacific uh, handheld, battery operated, yes. And this one came out late. It was 2009, uh, later than usual with these sorts of things. I believe this is motion control. Uh, you have these trigger buttons and sort of uh, thumb bumpers, uh, but there's no actual uh, control in terms of movement, so it must be doing it inside here with some, you know, accelerometers or something. Uh, I've, I've never tried it. We're going to plug it in to the encoder and uh, we'll give it a whirl and see what kind of a game uh, we're going to get based on Clone Wars. Here we go. And here we are with Star Wars The Clone Wars from Jag Specific. It's kind of a interesting uh, thing. Okay, looks like this one was done by Hot Gen, so probably uh, they coded this one just for them. Press the A button. All right. Start new game. Continue game. Options. Okay. Let's start new game. That is. Fine by me. Welcome aboard, soldier. I hear Commander Cody was impressed with your performance and training. Good job. It's never easy to impress a man with such experience. Try to remember, though, rookies, this isn't flight school anymore. It's the real thing. Go get your gear and head to the briefing room. We've got a war to win. Uh, let's just do that. Campaign one. Campaign 1, a troubled escort. The shadow of the Clone Wars spreads from system to system as opposing forces battle for critical trade routes. On board a Republic cruiser and en route to his home planet of Kinyon, the Grand Senator Karras prepares for arrival. Tasked with escorting the influential Senator on his diplomatic mission, Ghost Squadron, under the command of Jedi Master Obi-Wan Kenobi, remains vigilant. This is an escort mission. The first game is an escort mission. Boy, uh, looks like um, just move an aimer around with this. Let's find out. Senator Karras, our work here is complete. We hope. What? Thank you, Master Kenobi. Your escort is most appreciated. I'm picking up movement on my scanners. Point seven zero seven. This is a lot different than a lot of these other ones. All right, what am I doing? You lost. Senator Karras has been ambushed. Ghost Squadron, aided by Obi-Wan Kenobi, must fend off the attacking vulture droids and protect the senator at all costs. What? Is that supposed to be doing something? This is really weird. Oh, now I am. All right, so this is all motion control. Works pretty good, actually. Seems like the right trigger and the left trigger do the same exact thing. Up, down, to the left, to the right. Oh, I got like a super, super shot, too. Probably better to use that on like a capital ship or something, don't you think? I think the red ones that are like that are ones that are probably coming right at me or something. Ash Kenobi, go squad, your damage is critical. I'm heading to the escape pod. No. I don't seem to have any limits on firepower here. I can just kind of unload.
Go squadron, pursue those vulture droids. I'll locate the senator and transmit our coordinates. Okay. Mission 2 overwhelmed. Senator Karras has taken an escape pod to the planet below. Meanwhile, Ghost Squadron frantically pursues the fleeing vulture droids further into space. This is all this is. This is all going to be the same shit over and over again. Or is this going to be like, are they going to mix it up here on me? We'll try one more round, and if we, we end up in space again, we're going to call it, call it quits. Look at the size of that thing. We've got no chance against firepower of that magnitude. Cut the chatter, Grain 5. We've got to buy General Kenobi some time on the ground. Draw those fighters away from the battleship. It's our only chance. Yeah, I didn't really watch Clone Wars. Uh, I've heard good things, but I've heard good things for people that really like Star Wars, like Jedi, and um, people that I don't know that like Star, or people that I know that don't that really care about Star Wars, or kind of like me, they didn't watch it, so I don't know. <clears throat> sure, it's all right. I mean, it's, it, it was on for a while. I think it was a movie too, right? It was a Clone Wars movie, and then there was. Uh, I don't know how many seasons of the TV show or spin-offs or whatever seem to seem to be successful. Maybe more successful than a lot of the other properties that they have. We never survive in that asteroid field. All wings stick with the fighters. Okay. Does not seem <clears throat> Does not seem like it's too easy to die here. Actually, you know, for, for a kid's game, the motion control, and if they like Star Wars, this is bad. Oh, I gotta, like, move this thing in and out? Okay, that's weird. <clears throat> yeah, and they get a little exercise, moving this thing around. There's too many of them. We have no choice. All wings head towards that asteroid field. It's our only hope. So same shit, but in an asteroid field. Is that what we're talking about? Mission three better be like on a planet surface. If it's more of this shit in space, I'm done. Watch out, sir, they're on our tail. I can shake the controller. Recharge my shields, though. Oh, I gotta, like, I gotta avoid the fire with this. Yeah. It's really weird. These like phasers coming in from behind me, like it's not me. It's like a bonus round or something. It's very strange. Almost there. Stay on target. This is Red Five standing by. Use the force loop. Oh, 
Obi-Wan. Let's see what mission, mission three is in space. We're done. With the Trade Federation battleship proving too strong, the remaining members of Ghost Squadron are forced to retreat towards a nearby asteroid field. Yeah, that doesn't sound fun. Uh, all right, we're done. That's uh, Star Wars The Clone Wars. There may be more to it, but I don't want to keep playing this thing. I'm sure you don't want to keep watching me play it either. Uh, but, yeah, not bad for a kid's game from 2009. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day.